So welcome back. This is part two of the restoration of an ex-Royal New Zealand Air Force hotshot flight simulator or combat tactics trainer. So let's just run through some of the things I've done since the first video. Uh, inside we've done a bit more cleaning and I've managed to clean up the stain that was on the uh, ejection seat um, bottom pad there. And I've also put in the multi-function displays um, that were in it originally. If we come around to the uh, front here, we can see the back of the radar warning receiver and the two cathode ray tubes that are part of the multi-function displays. This whole area is easily accessible by lifting up the uh, dashboard here. That's just a one piece fiberglass unit. It's not bolted in place. So it makes very easy access to the cabling and the computer. Now laid out in front here are all the computer cables and plugs. Now, this uh, combat tactics trainer had uh, 24 <coughs> different um, plugs that were put into the computer. So I've managed to lay all these out and identify them. And then I've gone through and labeled them using a brother labeler here, which ends up with a little um, label like that. You peel the sticky uh, back off, <coughs> and then you can put it onto the uh, different plugs. So I've labeled all of these with a couple going to the thrust lever, We've got the, uh, the radar plug here. Most of the plugs are um, either a female 9-pin plug or a 25-female plug. There's one 25-male uh, plug, which uh, is part of the audio system. And there are a couple of extra plugs here uh, to do with the speakers. Um, there's a speaker plug cable there. So I've uh, identified most of them. There's a few on the right uh, console control panels that I have yet to identify. And I've also managed to identify that in the middle there, there is a potentiometer for the pitch um, sensor on the stick. And then sitting in back and behind there, uh, there will be another potentiometer uh, in the center of the control column uh, for working out the roll um, for the simulator. The pedals um, do not have a potentiometer on them. Uh, they sit on a kind of a rack sitting in there, which are fully adjustable. And then they've got uh, springs on either side to provide tension. So they feel like um, pedals you'd have in a, uh, in a big aircraft. Um, but as I said, there is no potentiometer on there. So I'll need to look at a way of actually making uh, those work. So the first uh, step will be to uh, wire up the uh, control column. Um, and get the buttons on the grip working, as well as the, um, the thrust lever. And if we can get those wired up, we're going to be using adapters uh, that basically will uh, go onto these, um, and then into USBs, and then into the computer from there. So that's where we're at currently. Um, as I said, it will be a slow process, but um, I hope to have the, um, the main controls uh, wired up uh, relatively soon.